What is up, guys? I'm Kyle at Fortune, and today we are finally doing something that many people have asked me to record because they want to know how to do it themselves. We're taking apart the front and rear differentials. So I've talked about this in a few of my other videos, and this is the one thing that I think takes a lot of research on everyone's part, and that is deciding which locker to put in which axle. A lot of my rigs were trailer to the trail. They didn't need to drive on the road at all. And my personal favorite is to have spools. Spools are super predictable. They're easy. You know they're going to work. They're lightweight and they're cheap. The problem is they're not very streetable and they're also very hard on parts. I wanted to do the Samurai spool front and rear. The problem is these axles are so small and the front differential and knuckle assemblies include so many small parts. I just didn't want to put that much stress on the front axle. Having a mechanical locker has its advantages, especially in the front, as it doesn't constantly have a load on it. Whenever you're giving it gas and there's power sent to the front differential, it'll lock up. Otherwise, it's unlocked in almost a neutral state. In this video of my Suburban, you can see the front driver's side tire coming over the rock kind of ratchets the opposite way of the other tire. Now, if that was a spool, that wouldn't have happened. The axles are essentially fused together and the front differential wouldn't get that type of relief coming over that rock. It would just be nonstop. Now, that traction is awesome, but it comes out of price. Parts want to break. What I decided to do was go with a spool in the rear axle, which replaces the side gears, and then I can use those 26 spline side gears in my front differential with a Spartan locker and 26 spline chromoly shafts. Now, just to be clear, a spool isn't very streetable either, especially in a rear axle. You're going to chirp going around corners, it's going to wear tires faster, all of that. But a rear axle has a much simpler job than a front axle. All it has to do is push forward. I'm still not sure if I'm going to trailer this to the trail, flat tow it, or drive it. So we'll see. If the spool doesn't work out in the rear, we'll just put a Spartan locker in there too, if it works well in the front. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean off the parts just a little bit because I'm going to need to mark them. Now, I say need, I think it's more of an OCD thing. I just foresee myself having this apart and getting everything mixed up. So what I'm going to do is put a few marks on everything so I know which side it goes on and what it's aligned with. All right, so here's what I did. It's a little bit overkill, but we'll see how it works out. Maybe I'll be happy about it. So I've got a mark here to line up the ring gear, the carrier cover. Each of these bolts just is one through four dots. I've got the alignment mark. I think this is gonna be really important later on. And then same thing, just one through four all the way around. Probably overkill, but it's not gonna hurt. It'll be really funny to see uh, somebody's face when they go look into this after I did this. 12 millimeter. You can see there's one pin that goes all the way across and then these two smaller ones here so this one will need to come out first. So 
So here you can see why we need to get these side gears out of the front and replace them with the ones from the rear. These stock front axles have way bigger splines on the side that goes into the hub versus the side that goes in the differential. You can see this side that goes into the differential lines up perfectly with these 22 spline side gears. For us, we're going to be upgrading these inner and Burfield shafts to a 26 spline chromoly shaft, which is the same size as this. Side gear doesn't fit. We're going to have to get the ones from the rear. All right, now that we've got this front differential disassembled, it's time to start on the rear. It's the same process for the rear differential, so we'll go ahead and skip through that. And then when we get inside, we'll look at the side gears and see the difference between them and the front. Here's another look at the side gears. This is a rear side gear, 26 spline, versus a front differential side gear that's only 22 spline. You can see this one is noticeably smaller. If you want to run a Spartan locker and you're going to have upgraded shafts, you're going to need this. You can buy them separately, but they're usually 50 to 70 bucks a piece. All right, guys, we've got the rear and the front disassembled. These are the only tools we needed. It was very easy to do. Everything came apart pretty easily. I tried to keep everything oriented the way it came out of the carrier. So when the carrier has that yellow mark at the 12 o'clock, that's how all the pins and stuff looked in there. Obviously, you're not going to have to get that deep into it. But for me, it's just giving me a little bit more peace of mind that I didn't mess anything up. And I've kept everything separated from rear differential on this left side and front differential on the right side, which corresponds with how my truck is in here. Most people probably don't worry about separating the parts out or marking them like I did, any of that stuff. But for me, if I end up going out of town for a while or something comes up at work or some kind of family emergency and I can't continue work, it's going to be really nice to have this video record and then also all these parts laid out nicely so I can come back into it and not be completely lost as to what I'm doing. That's it for this video, guys. In the next Samurai update, I will be installing lockers and both differentials and sealing them all up ready to put back in the housing i hope this was helpful for you guys i know it's only the first half the second half is going to come later let me know if this helped you out and if it did please hit subscribe so you guys can follow along with the updates on the samurai that way you'll also see the videos pop up in your feed there when you sign on thanks for watching guys see you next time